Okay, I could see that picture of that ground and the building that's on it from what I saw in 1974 August when I was in California at Jerry Fair's Bradfield Place was only 32 years old and we had nothing. You see? But it, I didn't realize then, when I was there in 1974, that something would take place in my mind and I looked for a, a place where we could train our distributors, have leadership training and what some of you need to do is develop and get up to one of the boot camps and you'll learn this business anyhow. The first thing about a vision is, you see, is to have dreams. You see, dreams, you've heard about it, I'm not going to go into that again. If you've got dreams, dreams are what gives life to the possibilities. You with me? If you don't have a dream, Alta and I, I was talking about that Mercedes Benz, for, uh, we ride it regularly on home, I don't take it for now, it's fantastic, 900,000, that one, the original one from 1987. That car on the sun visor, on the vanity mirror, Alta wrote every time we had a step, one ruby, two ruby, three ruby, right up to five diamonds, she wrote in there, we are five diamonds, before we became a five diamond, but, but the, the two diamond one, I don't know what kind of pen she used, if ever you get to acres, I'll show you in the, in the mirror, two diamonds is still there, okay? Yet we've gone right past it, so. So remember, dreams are important. You keep a picture in front of you of what you want. You talk it, you think it, you act it, and you work. And I used to tell the distributors, wherever I went to in meetings, hey, we're gonna have this property, we're gonna do this, we're gonna have a conference center. And they say, well, just get down to this guy and I'd say to them, don't worry, God will show us the right place. I did not say to them, I don't have money. You understand that? So don't let money hold your dreams back. You trust in the Lord, money is not important. I'll give you another tip while I'm talking about it. One of our distributors, a lot of you people might know them, Every month in 1987, 88, 88, used to ask us at the end of the month, how much was your check? And this is how you answer people. I said it was fantastic and you would not believe me even if I told you. <laughs> so remember that. Don't tell them what you're earning. Say it was fantastic and you wouldn't believe me even if I told you. Now I'll tell you what happened years later. We were big in the business. I asked the guy, I said, how much did you think we were earning? He said, oh, I thought you were earning 20,000 rand a month. That was in 88. And we only earned 2,000 rand a month, not 20,000. <laughs> and I told him 2,000, he would have quit the business. You understand? So that's all. You don't lie. If somebody says to you, how long have you been in the business? I say, I'm brand new and I'm excited. Ah, I've been in five years or ten years, I'm sitting where I damn it said years ago, and I'm happy it's alive. Get excited. Get fired up. You understand that? So if anybody says, how long have you been in? Say, man, I'm brand new and I'm excited, and when you leave here, you're going to be excited about your business. Am I right? And you wake up every morning excited. So keep those dreams in front of you. The last thing is, six point. And this is important. You know, you can look at Proverbs verse 20, uh, chapter 29, verse 18. It says, people without a vision perish. Now, I've never heard of anybody perishing in heaven. <laughs> Only place you perish is in hell. So, for your good health, I recommend you have a vision. That's what God said you must have. Who's going to have a vision from now on? You don't put up your hand, God can't see you. <laughs> Remember, God acts on what you talk about. You people must learn that here. Yeah. Good. Get excited. You see, now, one thing you should remember. When you have a vision, it starts off with small baby steps. You with me? 
It's not going to happen. Boom. So you start taking those steps and start taking action and start stretching yourself. <coughs> Doing more than you do not now. Be conscious. Uh, we were at a Chinese restaurant last night. I did not eat all other stuff. I did not eat the white rice. I ate steamed vegetables and I ate steamed fish. You understand? And that's what I stick to. That's why I've got energy. That's why I'm excited. I was out running in the garden at the Sheraton this morning. And Roddy, you're so sleeping. You see? You see, a lot of people eat at night. And what they eat at night is what walks around tomorrow. You understand? Okay, so baby step, take the action that will stretch you and will give you courage as you start achieving. I'm going to talk about the steps just now. You've got to stretch yourself to be creative. Right? You've got to stretch yourself. Work on yourself, your attitude, your mind, your body, your exercise. Folks, if you're overweight, I can't expect you to go running. That's stupid. But maybe you can walk 50 meters. Don't walk like you can walk fast. The next day you might do 100 meters. You with me? Next day you might do a bit more. You start disciplining your guy. You don't have to go on a crash diet. Just gradually start disciplining yourself to eat for nutrition, not to eat to fill your stomach. The majority of people fill their stomachs, get what they're putting in there is dead food. Dead food, dead body, live food, live body. Simple. That's why near life products work. They hold food supplements and they extract it raw in an oxygen free environment, a carotid complex, and encapsulate it raw in an oxygen free environment. That's why they work. See, that's the difference between near life and any other company out there. You're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel more energy if you do it right. So, anyhow, It'll start giving you new horizons. Thinking of, you'll start thinking not of yourself anymore. you start thinking of doing things for your team, of helping your team, helping your people grow. And when you start stretching, you start becoming creative. I'm not talking about become creative to want to change the way you do the business. You see, whatever you think you want to change, Jerry Brasher tried years ago and it didn't work. So why do you want to try it? <laughs> Rather, I'm a simple person. I follow what works. You with me? I can improve me. I cannot improve somebody else. So stretch, become creative. And I heard somebody mention this weekend, if you carry on doing what you're doing right now, in five years' time you'll only have what you have right now. I'll tell you you'll have less than what you have right now. So I encourage you to go out there and start stepping, start moving. And you know, it's not over till it's over. I'll tell you a story. We have a uh, guy out there, Angus Buckham, I listened to it this morning again, fantastic uh, evangelist and all that. And Angus Buckham, he prayed to me once. And he said, Charlie, remember one thing. It's not over till God says it's over. You with me? While you've got breath in your, in your body, you must move, okay? Now, I'll tell you another true story. Uh, the Eagle team have a thing at Sun City. We don't do a cruise anymore in Southern Africa, we do Sun City. And we have a lady there from Mozambique, Parta uh, Boa, right? She's 90, 78 years old. And they could do anything with game drive, we have water world now. I don't know if you know what a jet, jet ski is, it's like a motorbike on water, right? This lady got on that thing and she rode it like a youngster would not be able to ride it. She rode it flat out. She did crazy things with it. And she was enjoying herself. And I was speaking to Jenny Blasfield, and I'll tell him about this. He said, Charlie, 78 is young. We, it's, 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 not, it's not old, it's only middle age. He said, we are middle age, and Jerry's also middle age. <laughs> so 
I'm not out on my leg. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Get excited about life. Look after your body. God give me a body that can last 120 years if you look after it. Now, I'm going to be around as long as the Lord allows me to be here. When he says it's over, then it's over. Until then, I'll be around. I'll talk later with you. Thank you very much. Get your vision right.